Civil servants, they are in the front line against job cuts and attacks on pay and public services. He is Mark Zawatka. Good afternoon, comrades. Let me start with a little story for you. Last Thursday, in Coventry, Francis Maud, the millionaire member of the Cabinet, walked in for a meeting in the Coventry Tax Office. PCS members in their hundreds walked out the moment that he walked in. Yeah! Now, that set me to thinking a bit more of that is what we need in order to show the government that we're serious. So let me pay tribute from this rostrum to the hundreds of thousands of PCS members who have not only delivered services over the last year, but have taken strike action time and time and time again to defend their jobs and their services. Now comrades, people say there's no alternative because we've got no money. Well if we got no money, why don't bloody Starbucks pay their tax? Why doesn't Amazon pay their tax? Why are the rich paying 45 pence? We should tax the rich in order to save us from all of the cuts. Now it's not difficult. If you haven't got enough money, you need to put people back to work, you need to collect the tax from those who can afford it, and then you need to put money into our economy. And you know what? It's obvious. Everybody agrees with us. But George Osborne, when he's not dodging his fare, is not prepared to change course. So comrades, my union has this message, and it's simple. 18 months ago we came to this park and we had the most fantastic day. We're here again today, another brilliant turnout. But we have to be honest, we are in a worse place today than we were a year and a half ago. There's been more cuts, more pay freezes, more privatisation. So that means we've got to ask ourselves, what are we going to do about it? And I think this, and my union thinks this, if winning the argument doesn't stop them, if marching doesn't stop them, then what we've got to do is what they've done in France, in Greece, in Portugal and in Spain. And we need to have strike action right across the economy. And I tell you what, I tell you something, Imagine how we'll feel if we knock the smile off the faces of the millionaires in the cabinet and we have more nurses, more teachers, more people building houses. Our society will be a far better place to be. But comrades, it's not enough to wish for it. It's not enough to hope for it. We've got to make it happen. Let's get back to your workplaces, the length and breadth of the country and say to our leaders of our movement, and to me included, the time has come to strike. <laughs>